This is the inside handover of the Luna Deluxe 590. Uh, this is the consumer unit. You've got all the test switches and things. So if the van trips for some reason, it will just need to push this blue button up again. That will normally be when you've got using too much power on the mains. That would happen. And you've got various 12 volt fuses and they point out what each one does on there for you little black button when that's in everything will work if that button's out nothing will work and no lights will come on you've got then your uh, heater and then also the charger control so those lights need to be on if you want to charge the battery or use the heating or hot water this one here is your um, motor mover control box and um, we'll send you a separate video on that and how that all works uh, one of the most common things we get calls on is this little yellow tap down here um, if it's parallel with the floor, then that means the water can come in the van. If you find the van's having a tinkle like that, that's because you've got that drain tap open. So just always leave it in that position unless it's winter and there's frost. And then you just open that up and drain all the water out. So we come into the vehicle, make sure this yellow tap's down, make sure our shutdown switches are on. And then we come up to the control panel just above the door. Everything will be turned off. So our first button here turns on the power. The second button turns on the lighting. Third button does the water pump and you'll hear that run in the background. Sometimes in the evening you might want to turn that water pump off because it will just re, re purge every so often. It'll be like three o'clock in the morning when it does it. Next one here is your awning light on and off. And then the next one is your leisure battery. So you can see how much voltage is in there. When it's getting down to these two red, that's really when you need to turn it off. So that's the main control panel. The next one to the right here is the Truma. I'll send a separate video on how that all works. So we've turned our pump on, our yellow taps down. We come to the taps, we just open them up on either side, just to make sure that the water's coming through. And then you do the same in the bathroom and so on. I'll show you the fridge next. To show this, so you've got on the mains that one there. Next one down is 12 volt. That'll only work when you're travelling, and that'll only maintain the temperature that you've got it down to in the inside. Next one is the gas. We have to hold this in, and then we hold that button in. And then you'll see over on this far left hand side there's a little gauge and a little red needle will jump up into the green when it's lit and then you just hold that in and then that will light up fine. The hob is fairly self-explanatory just make sure it's up and all the way back as you'll hear some fans start up because it's extremely hot at the moment so it needs to get rid of the exhaust um, you just literally hold the button in, twist it round and it lights up, easy as that. The same on the grill and the oven and the hob. Uh, you have got an electric hot plate on here and the other most important thing you must do is make sure these are all cool to the touch before you put the glass down, otherwise it will shatter and go everywhere. I'll just quickly explain the toilet if that's alright. So you've got the flusher on the top up and down, that flush is round and then I was talking about a blade on the outside so if that blade is open you won't be able to pull the cassette out so make sure it's closed when you're finished. There is a little indicator light right down at the back there, it's not really a light it's just a colour green, it will go red uh, when it's full up but don't let it get to that stage, you'll get to know how much is, needs to be in there when it's full. And that's a quick tour round.